what are we going <laughs> to see happen? Without giving away too much, um, the mythology of the show that you've been watching throughout the first two seasons, three seasons actually, comes to a close. So all those questions that you want answered finally get answered, um, but they also leave you with some heartache and a few more questions that will hopefully be answered in uh, season four. Cool. And will the season finale give us some closure? Are we going to be left with even more questions than we already had? Definite closure and one huge question mark. Oh, geez. So we'll, it, we won't really get all the answers we want. You, you'll get the answers you want for, for what you've wanted so far, mm -hmm. but it leaves you, the, there's a definite, definite cliffhanger okay. that definitely you will go through the gamut of emotions and you'll be throwing things at your TV, but in a good way. Oh, wow. Throwing Wanting more. TV. Yeah. <laughs> Fun. Um, so Cameron's been through a lot this season and has kind of become a big punching bag with all the deaths. <laughs> Are you hoping he gets a little slack next season? I mean, I don't know what I did to the writers, but it's it's all in good fun. Um, we'll see what happens next season. I hope that um, I would love to have some official NSA training. Maybe with Fisher, they do a little like you know cop montage, Eye of the Tiger kind of thing, and uh, so he can actually protect himself a little more on the field now that he's the kind of like scientist turned cop. Um, but it's you know it's been fun to kind of be the butt of the joke and you know the uh, the backboard for the for the punch. Tell us about your uh, friendship with Emma. How much fun do you guys have working together? Emma's definitely my best friend. She's awesome. And we've been on this journey together since 2014 when the original pilot shot. And then we found out about six to seven months later that it was getting picked up. But they're recasting everybody except for me and Emma. And so we've kind of been th through the ringer with this show and seeing it through to the season finale on Monday is just kind of... It's been quite a journey to look back and realize like how much we've been through together and you know she's had a baby since then and I just recently got engaged so like we've just been through each, through a lot with each other on and off set and it's been really nice to have that kind of you know friendship to go through that with. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. Um, so we saw your stand-in on set also gave you a pretty sweet gift to help you bring out Cameron's sexy side in episode nine. Have you learned anything from the steamy book? Uh, once upon a seal yet? I don't even know where that book went, where it came from. It just was sitting on my chair when I got there. I think that was to like give me some inspiration for this like sex scene that we had to shoot, mm -hmm. which completely did the opposite because the dude on the cover is just airbrushed from head to toe and just a jack six back. And I'm sitting there like, who spent money on this gag to make me feel like crap about myself before I do this thing? It was an all good fun, but it was, I definitely have not read it, only the cover. <laughs>